Okay, this is set 7 explainer natin ng percentages. Again, if you haven't seen the other videos, please go and watch those first para makapag-catch up kayo. This is not a good uh, video to start out with. Mas maganda if yung panood nyo muna yung mga basics natin. So, there's going to be a pop-up up here, this upper right corner if you're watching this on YouTube. Hit pause muna dito sa video na to and go and watch those muna. Now, today we're going to talk about uh, set of questions I posted on my Facebook page. It's www.facebook.com slash team like Be sure that you like that page if you want uh, more free exercises like this one. I posted this around lunchtime uh, ng March 20 and I noticed that some of you still got it wrong. That is the reason why I'm going to make this video. So I'm going to keep making as many videos as I could as I humanly could as my time would allow uh, until you master the technique. Okay, so let's try this out. First question, sabi what is 95% of 2250? Again, you can do it a number of ways. Pwede yung gawin na uh, 50% plus 20 plus 20 or plus 25. Yan, pwede yung tig to 10, pwede ganyan. Or, ang suggestion ko, since malapit na siya sa 100%, you can use it na 100% na lang minus 5%. Kasi ang 100 minus 5 is 95%. So, ang 100% is the same number. So, 2, 2, 50 minus 5%. Anong 5%? Kalahati ng 10%. Ang 10% niya is you move the decimal place is 1 point. So, 2, 2, 5 ang 10%. Okay? 10%, 2, 2, 5. So, anong 5%? Kalahati ng 2, 2, 5 which is going to give us 1, 1, 2.5. So, 2, 2, 50 minus 1, 1, 2.5. It's going to give us 0. 0.5 here. Okay, carry, carry tayo dyan. Magkakala ng 9 doon. Okay, sorry, ng 9 doon. Minus 2, it's going to give us 7. Ayan. So, it's going to give us this one. I move, I carry ulit dyan. Mga hiram ka lang 4, 3. Or kung, actually, yung sadalito, kung imemental nyo na lang. But the answer is 2137.5. Again, most of you got it right na. Yung iba lang, medyo naguluhan sa addition siguro, kaya nagkamali. Pero solid na tong part na to. So, move, move on na tayo. What is 43% of 2250? Again, you can uh, do it a number of ways. Pwede kayo magsimula sa 25 and then put it na 10 plus 8. Or, you can use 50% minus 7%. Or, uh, some, uh, apat na 10. So, ang 10% natin, sabi natin kanina, is 225. Apat nyan times 4 nyan is going to give you 800 and another 100, so that is 900. So, ibig sabihin, ng 900, ito na agad yung 40%. Bakit ko times 4? Kasi times 4 ng 10 ay 40. So, 3% na lang. O, tatlong 1%. So, ang 1% mo is going to be 2 to 5, move mo ulit decimal place 1 point. So, that is 22.5. Ito ang 1%. Times 3 lang nito, so it's going to give you... 66 and then another 1.5 so that is 67.5 so the answer is 967.5 pinagsama mo lang yung 900 plus yung 67.5 okay this is the final answer again what i'm doing here i'm not trying to explain the concept ha i'm just going to show you the solution kasi I explain ko na in my earlier videos ko ano yung nangyayari make sure that you watch those to pick the technique up it's going to save you a lot of time pagdating sa exam Okay? Next, what is 12% of 60% of 1460? So again, you can start with the bigger end first. So 50% ng 1460 is half of it. So ang 50% plus 10% is going to give us 60%. 50% is 730 plus 10%, which is 146. It's going to give you 876. Ito ang 60%. And then, ang next, inahanap yung 12% nito. So, you can put 10% and then plus 2%. 10% ng, 87, ng 876 is 87.6. Okay? Plus 2%. So, ang 0.1 naman, imumove mo ulit decimal place isang beses siya. So, 8.76 times 2. Okay? So, that is going to give you 12, 14, 15. 8, 16, 17, tapos dalawang decimal point, 17.52. It should give you uh, 2 here, an extra 1 here. So, it's carry ka ng isa dyan. 
It's going to give you 15, and then this is going to be 0. Okay? So, 105.12 ang sagot dito sa number, sa letter D, or sa pang-apat. Some of you already got this wrong, pero again, hindi tayo susuko, tuloy lang ng tuloy. Ang next na question, okay, careful dito ha, if you look quickly, from 12% of 60 of, of 60% of 1460 is going to be 12, 1 half percent of 24% of 1460. Again, huge difference between 1 half of and 1 half percent of, okay? So, 1 half of is 0 0.5. Ang 1 half percent of is 0 0.5, tapos dahil may percent pa siya, magiging 0 0.512, it's 0 0.005. Or, like what we do, 50% as move the decimal place na lang. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it. Ha? Ito muna tayo sa 24% of 1460. So, 24%, it can be 25% na lang minus 1. So, 25% is kalahati ng kalahati. Sabi natin kanina, ang kalahati is 730. Ang kalahati nun is 365. Minus 1%, which is move the decimal place 1, 2, 2 steps. So, that is 14.6. This is going to give you 0.4. Kaya di tayo ng isa dun. 0. This is going to be 5. And then this is going to be 3. So, the answer is 350.4. Okay? 350.4, this is yung 24% of 1460. From this one, bubuoyin natin yung 1 half percent. Ngayon, again, what you could do would be to multiply it, so 350.4 times 0 0.005, you can do that. Or, what you could do would be, hanapin natin yung 50%. Ang 50% or kalahati dito is 1, 7, 5.2, this is 50%. And then, the next thing that you're going to do is just to move the decimal point ng dalawang beses para mabuo mo yung 0 0.5. So, 0.5% ang goal. So, 1, 2. So, 1, 2. The answer is 1.752. Now, I noticed a bunch of you already got it right. Congratulations, guys. So, that is, you have, uh, some of the people got it right. You have Abrilata, um, uh, Grace got it right. Uh, yung iba, decimal place lang ang nagkamali. Zulana got it right. Uh, Reese got it right. Um, yeah. So, careful, careful lang kayo sa mga decimal place ninyo. Yung iba kasi ang sagot 17.52, yung iba 175.2. So, careful lang sa decimal place. Okay? Kaya, more practice. Next, what is one-fourth of 75% of 1460? Again, what you could do would be 75% muna. So, kalahate, which is 50%, it's going to be 730, plus 25%, which is 365. This is going to give us 1,000, okay, 5, we add lang natin siya, 5, 9, 10. So, 1,095 ang 75%. And yung 1,095%, kukunin natin yung 1 fourth percent. Again, 1 fourth of, different sa 1 fourth percent of. So, ang 1 fourth of is 0 0.25. Ang 1 fourth percent is 0 0.25 percent, which means, i-move pa natin decimal place ulit. 1, 2, 2 points. So, the answer here should be 0 0.0025. So, number of ways that you could do it, 1095 times 0 0.0025. Pwede mong i-multiply like that. Or, like we did kanina, kunin na lang natin yung 25 percent dito. And then you move the decimal place. So, ano 25%? Kalahati ng kalahati. Ang kalahati ng 1095, which is 50%, is 547.5. Ito yung kalahati. Kalahati uli nyan. Divide mo yan sa 2. So, it's going to give you 2, 7, 3, tapos may remainder ka pa na isa, 0.75. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, 25% of 1095 is 273. 0.75. Hinahanap natin 0.25%. May dalawa ka bang decimal place? 1, 2, para makuha mo yung 0.25. So, you're going to move it again. 1, 2, the answer is 2.7375 or dahil 2 places lang usually sa hinahanap sa civil service, that is 2.74. I-round up natin. 
Okay? So if you answered either this or this, you got it right. Now, again, most of you got it. Uh, some of you already got it right. So you have Abrilata who got it right. Grace got it right. Zulana got it right. Um, Tama rin si Erica. Reese. And uh, Daryl. So good job, guys. Ibig sabihin na kuha na talaga yung concept. You can move on from here. A few of you are uh, still got it wrong, pero mas marami na yung nakatama. So, we're going to stop muna with this type of question here. Next video is going to be really special, so make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. You can watch uh, all of the videos here. And uh, para makita ninyo yung susunod na video, make sure na subscribe kayo if you're watching this from YouTube. Um, you can hit the bell icon doon sa subscribe bar. The reason for that is for you to know when when it posts. Kasi ang pag-uusapan natin is my special technique on answering mga percentage questions na ibang itsura. So, what is, what percent of this number, what's what percent of this number. I'm going to show you how to use a ratio rotation and how to use a speed technique without using algebra when it comes to solving that type of question. So, looking forward to that. I'll teach you soon. See you on my next video. God bless.